Did you know that many Americans live paycheck to paycheck, constantly dealing with financial stress? The good news is, is it doesn't have to be that way. Budgeting, while seen as boring or complicated, is actually a very powerful tool for your financial freedom. Today, in this video, we'll be uncovering practical solutions to breaking free from the paycheck to paycheck grind and ensuring financial security and freedom. Let's go. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Evan, a real estate agent and mortgage broker, and today we're going to be talking about budgeting, specifically the 50-30-20 rule. So, if you're watching this video, chances are you might not be familiar with the rule, and that's okay. In a sense, the 50-30-20 rule is a set of guidelines of how to divvy up your money post-tax. Starting off is the biggest category, consisting of about 50% of your budget, which is the needs category. Now the needs category is for your fixed expenses. So things like uh, your rent, uh, your mortgage, utilities, uh, groceries, insurance, credit card payments, basically anything that you need on a day-to-day -day basis that you cannot live without. The next largest category, which takes up about 30% of your budget, is the wants category. Now this category is typically for things that you don't really need, uh, but that enhance your life. So things like shopping, uh, concerts, traveling, dining out, things that enhance your life and make it more fun, but in a pinch, you wouldn't spend money on because you have other priorities. But also be very careful with this category as excessive spending in the wants category will negatively impact the needs category and up next, the savings category. Moving on is the savings category, taking up the final 20% of your budget. Now the savings category is future oriented. So your emergency fund, your, your retirement savings account, uh, paying off your debt, uh, student debt, and your investments. I recommend that this category stay at 20% minimum. It's going to be hard with your budget changing every single month, but if you can keep your savings apart at 20%, I think you're gonna be in a really good situation because you have to take in consideration future expenses after you retire and any worst case scenarios that might occur. And remember, these ratios are just guidelines for you to follow. Your situation might be different than the person sitting next to you and that's okay. As long as the ratios don't change drastically every single month, then you should be good because you're focusing on your budget and you're focusing on your future and that will lead you to success. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you just saw, then hit the video right here. Also, if you haven't, please consider subscribing, liking the video and hitting the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos.